Power BI versus Tableau or is it Tableau versus Power BI? If you look at Google search trends over the last five years, you'll notice that Tableau have held really well. We see a consistent rate of search volume over the last five years. However, very recently, Power BI has slowly increased in search volume. So what we're now seeing is genuinely people asking the question of whether they should opt to learn Power BI first or whether they should opt to learn Tableau instead. In this video, I'm gonna take you through some examples of where you should learn both or why you should learn one or the other. But what I really wanna do is give you a business answer rather than a technical one. On LinkedIn, there was a post by a person called Yuki Kagegawa. Now, Yuki is based in Utah, United States, and his post was essentially a snapshot of a dashboard in Power BI and another dashboard in Tableau. But the thing here is that both dashboards look almost identical. So the point around the technical differences is actually really small because when you look at these two dashboards, you'll see visually they look almost the same. In fact, to the untrained eye, it's very hard to tell which is which. I've been working in data for seven years. I know which of the two is Tableau, but for many people looking at this, it's hard to really tell the two apart. And again, I emphasize the point that both these tools are highly capable tools. So whichever you go with, you're definitely moving in the right direction by learning one or the other. Now, going back to the technical points, there are a number of things that people often look at. The first of these is the visual capabilities of both tools. Both of them, as you know, are dashboarding tools. Now, in terms of visual references, they're both fantastic. They both have plenty of different visual charting options. You've got all manner of different charts. You've got Sankey charts tree charts, tree diagrams, and they're fantastic in terms of whatever you want to produce visually and in terms of all the different filter options, you've got them both. Both Tableau and Power BI are very capable at giving you fantastic visualization capabilities. So there's very little distinguishing the two of them from a visual aspect or from a user experience aspect. Now, when it comes to building formulas, this is where it's all down to preference. Now, when you build formulas in Tableau, it's known as calculated formulas or calculated fields, you are using a language which is very similar to SQL. So if, then, else, and. So that's the kind of structure you'd follow if you're building an if formula in Tableau. Now in Power BI, they use something fairly similar, but they have their own unique languages. One is called DAX. And when it comes to Power Query, you have something called M language. But you don't need to know the two of them. You really just need to be comfortable at building formula as you would in Excel. So both Tableau and Power BI are perfectly capable when it comes to formulas. Now in terms of learning curve, this is a question that would be asked by a lot of users. Which of the two is easier to learn? Which is more for advanced users? and which is more suitable for beginners. To be honest, both of them, both of them are equally as suitable for beginners as they are for experienced advanced users. There is a genuine learning curve for both of them and they are not too difficult. You can actually master or get really good at Tableau or Power BI around about 30 to 40 hours of use. In fact, you could easily start producing dashboards within 15 to 20 hours of learning either tool. So there's nothing again that distinguishes the two. Again, it's all down to preference. And a more recent feature that a lot of people are using to compare the two is all around AI. So as you know, AI is really popular right now and the two tools are actually highly capable as well. I would slightly give a, a higher score to Microsoft. Microsoft are really driving AI adoption in all of their products, especially via the use or via the brand of Copilot. And I haven't used it personally, but I have seen some demos. I think Copilot has got some real power behind it. So I think from what I've seen, at least with Power BI, it's highly capable. If ever you want to go down the AI route, especially when you're learning or using dashboards in future, Microsoft Power BI has definitely got that. Now on Tableau, however, they also have something very similar. Tableau are calling it Tableau Pulse. It was recently demoed at a few recent conferences. And what you'll find is Tableau Pulse is also very, very capable when it comes to displaying AI capabilities. So the two of them, once again, guys, are highly capable for future potential AI use cases. Again, I wouldn't distinguish between the two there. They're both very good tools for either or. So guys, it all comes down to the business questions and ultimately it's all down to the business reasons as to which of the two you should be learning. What I wanna talk about first is what's what I call industry 
preference or industry choice. Now, depending on the industry you wanna go into will dictate which of the two tools you should learn. So I'll give you an example. When I worked at energy firm Shell, I worked at Shell for just over a year, they were heavily onboarded with Microsoft Power BI. And the reason why was because they had a partnership with Accenture. Now Accenture are also partners with Microsoft and heavy users and adopters of Power BI. What I realized then was that there were also similar consulting firms like Ernest Young, also known as EY, who are also big users of Power BI. So my advice to you guys is, if you're going into consulting, you're going into energy, you're going into finance, whatever industry it may be, you need to know which of those tools are most popular in your given industry. If you take for instance banking, banking is predominantly pro Tableau. If you go to JP Morgan, you go to Bank of America, you go to Citigroup, you go to HSBC, you'll find that all of those banks are heavily pro users of Tableau. If you want a career in banking or finance, then it's in your interest guys to learn Tableau. I'll go back to the point and I'll reiterate the point. What you should be learning is gonna be dictated by the industry path that you choose and the industry path that you choose will determine which of the two tools that you should learn. That's not to say that you shouldn't learn both. I think you'll be highly opening yourself up in your career. You'll do yourself really good favors by learning both. But if you focus on whichever preference your industry has or your company has, you'll know which one to go for. A perfect way of finding this out is to look at job profiles on LinkedIn or look at the CV of a job that you're looking to apply for in future. You'll see somewhere in the job description I'll mention either Power BI, Tableau or some other third party visualization tool. So as you can gather guys, because I work in banking, I work in finance, Tableau is where I specialize. And Tableau for me is being fantastic. It's worked really well for me. I've built all my experience up in Tableau. I have used Power BI when I worked at Shell, but Tableau is where I stand today. But by no means should you choose Tableau just because I've chosen Tableau. You should choose the platform or the visualization tool that you like based on your industry needs or the career pathway that you choose for yourself. Now the other point I want to mention that the which I think is highly important is the tech stack of the company you're going to work for. Now, what does that mean? When I worked for Shell Oil, they were heavily embedded with Microsoft. They had Microsoft Azure for their cloud computing, they had Microsoft Dynamics for the CRM, and obviously they had Microsoft Office for every user in the company. So as you can imagine, Power BI was a natural fit given their tech stack was already very Microsoft dependent. So the tech stack and the question of the tech stack in the company you're going to work for or you want to work for is gonna reflect on which of the two you should choose. And nothing says this more than the cloud computing solution that your company is opting or will opt to choose for in future. So I'll give you an example. At JP Morgan, they are very heavily involved with Amazon Web Services. And as a result, they have gone towards Tableau. And the reason why is because the CEO of Tableau up until very recently was a guy called Adam Selipsky and he previously was a major figure at Amazon. And now today he's in fact the CEO or the head of AWS Cloud Computing back at Amazon. So what you'll find is whenever it comes to Amazon or where Amazon are involved, especially with AWS, companies are more likely to be using Tableau. And again, the same can be said about CRM. If you're using Salesforce, then more likely than not you're going to be using Tableau. If you're using Microsoft Dynamics, more likely than not you're going to be using Power BI. So guys, hope this video has helped you. Hope this video has been useful. Do pay attention in terms and respects to the company that you're looking to work for, the industry you're looking to choose, and then you'll know the answer you're looking for. But guys, whichever decision you make, Power BI or Tableau, it's going to do wonders for your CV. It's going to do wonders for your career. So do start today if you haven't already done so. If you like this video, do like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care for now, bye.